So today is officially day two of the planetary defense exercise program. I haven't seen a whole lot of data yet, but there will be more data coming from that program. They might use like four one meter telescopes and several university observatories as well. So we might see a lot of data coming our way so we can start making use of all the data to understand the Comet 3A Atlas, what it is. I started looking at how big the Comet 3A is. So I saw some pictures of uh, Mars and Comet 3A and I was always thinking when I, whenever I see the Comet 3A pictures, I see there, there's a big coma around it. And I started calculating based on the telescope that we are using, based on the camera size, based on how far it is from us to Comet 3 Atlas. And the picture that we are taking, the sensor size, you can calculate how big the diameter of the Comet 3 Atlas coma, we cannot actually see the nucleus itself, but at least the coma, how big that is. And it is looking closer to like a 17,000 kilometers, which is almost the size of Earth or even bigger. So I think Earth is 12,500 kilometers. So it's a big size coma, right? So if there is a way we can understand, if you are looking at Mars, and if you are looking at Comet 3 Atlas next to it, you would see if Comet 3 is bright enough, you would see them almost the same size in the sky. It's kind of like that big, right? But if you wanted to compare that with the Jupiter, Jupiter is huge planet and the eye of the storm on the Jupiter, how big that is, is how big the Comet 3 Atlas along with the coma is. So anyway, I started looking at the data. I'm going to share the data and the pictures with you as well. So there were numerous requests asking me to take pictures of the comet R2 Swan. So I did. I believe there was several folks talking about this R2 Swan and one being on one side of the Earth and 3i Atlas being the other side of the Earth. So they are putting a lot of comparison between these two comets. Uh, there are reports that they are same. So let's understand a little bit more uh, what it is all about. So R2 Swan was recently discovered and it was actually discovered in October after the uh, perihelion date, the, when it came closer to the sun. And the reason why we didn't discover is because this is more to do with the comet chemical composition. Uh, essentially, the hydrogen, which is nothing but the water vapor coming out of the comet, has to exist for the SWAN instrument on the SOHO spacecraft, which is orbiting around Sun. And the SWAN is an instrument which is going to pick up the solar wind. And the only way it is going to pick up is if there is a hydrogen molecule, which is nothing but water vapor there. And it couldn't find any, so no one detected the R2 SWAN uh, comet coming in. And as soon as it came so close to the sun, it suddenly got activated, bursted with all the water vapor and now our telescope started picking up the signature of this comet. The SWAN is a solar system comet, more than likely, but it came from the Oort cloud. So what is Oort cloud, right? It is nothing but like a ring around our solar system, like an outside solar system. Think of the distance from the Earth to the Moon is like one centimeter, like really tiny, like if we miniature it, that small. The Oort cloud is almost like 2,000 kilometers. It's giant, right? So if our solar system is this small, Oort cloud is like this big. 
and it's nothing but icy bodies it's a leftover material from the planetary building that was done and whatever is the material that's out there it's rotating around that plane the orbital plane once in a while there will be a comet from those icy bodies come towards the sun goes back in there so you will hear a lot of comets coming from oort cloud that's what that is anyway so this one came from the oort cloud the r2 swan so chances are if it is on the outer edges of the oort cloud it is interstellar comet as well so one reason why it picked up quite a bit of noise because uh, the sodium signature was missing from the usual cometary signature it is looking different than comet 3 atlas i will show you the pictures close by and i can show you the at least my comparison of it uh, comet swan you will realize it's actually going backwards what i mean to say was it is actually going towards its tail and it's going back right because it is going away from sun the way we would see it is the comet is going the tail is in front of it but it is going out right so i'll show you those um, pictures as well it kind of looks like an anti tail but really it is going away from sun that's what the illusion that we will have particularly from the way we are looking at uh, please do subscribe to my channel uh, please click on the like button and the notifications button so you get the notification when i post the new videos on comet 3 atlas or any other astronomy videos thank you so these are the pictures of comet swan that i captured these are more looking like a cometary kind of object at least that's the feeling that i get and you can clearly see the tail is you can clearly see the tail is on the comet is going towards the tail because if you kind of flip this way for a second and assume the sun is on this side and the comet is going back right going back to earth cloud So that's why you see as if the comet has an anti-tail jet but more than an anti-tail jet this is more actually going towards oort cloud from our perspective It's a very interesting uh, comet to take a look at it It has uh, a huge like if you get closer to it it has a huge coma to it there is some signature there at uh, the once in a while the pulsation kind of brightness is because of the kind of brightness that we captured as part of acquisition but nothing to do with the the actual comet itself i'll slow it down a little bit so that you can take a careful look at it uh, that's too slow I'll zoom out a little bit. It's a beautiful looking comet R2 Swan. It comes in the evening time and uh, Atlas is coming Three atlas is coming in the morning, almost now. Three o'clock, four o'clock time frame. So this one comes a bit late in the day. So these are the set of pictures that we captured for Comet Three Atlas, and I'm going to zoom in for you. So take a look at the comet here, right? Doubt that I had in mind was. the comet is looking this big right the size of the comet and the stars next to it right so if i zoom out maybe if i look at maybe mars or saturn or jupiter if i just take a smaller exposure of those uh, they'll be of this size right 
So that prompted me to start thinking, let's calculate the size of the coma, at least the internal coma, not necessarily the other tails and jets and all, but just the, the main internal core, inner core of the size of the atlas. So when I started calculating it, to my surprise, the calculations are coming. Uh, let me share that picture with you. So based on the visual comparison that I did, looking at that from three atlas from my telescope, with the current pixel scale that I have, my size of my telescope, the size of my telescope, the camera that I'm using, and the distance that I have from the telescope to the three atlas, the inner coma is roughly around 14,500 kilometers, whereas the Earth is uh, around 13,000 kilometers. The nucleus could be anywhere between 1 kilometer to 5.6 kilometers. We don't know exactly what that size is, but it is quite a large nucleus. And this comparison starts making sense when you take a look at this coma right here and compare it to the next stars or the size of the Mars next to it. It actually shows you that how big this coma is with respect to that comet. So if you are looking in the sky, the planet Mars and next to it, the Comet 3 Atlas, you might actually be surprised. 3 Atlas, you will look as big as Mars if 3 Atlas is bright enough. So I'm going to start using uh, different wavelengths and start taking pictures so that's all I have. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click on the subscribe button and notifications button. It's already looking fantastic, fabulous. We can very clearly see now the core, the coma, I very clearly see the structure of the Comet 3i. All we have to do is uh, figure out what's inside, how it is kind of looking like, so please do click on the notifications button when I post the new videos, you will get notified. I'll take a lot of astronomy pictures and astronomy videos as well. Thank you.